Welcome to the UEL Program Costing Application. This has been developed as part of our GIST funded course data project, though the idea originated from an earlier business intelligence program also funded by GISC. One of the main objectives of our course data project is to streamline our processes for bringing new programs to the market. One of the key considerations for developing a new program is in terms of its financial contribution to the institution. Given the often lengthy process and staff costs in validating new programs, it is imperative that staff members developing a new course are fully aware of the financial implications of developing and delivering a new program. As a consequence, the key function of this program cost and application is to allow staff thinking about developing a new program to accurately assess the financial viability of the course. Obviously, programs that are unlikely to make a positive financial contribution are unlikely to be given approval to proceed to full validation. This application has been developed using ClickView, an in-memory reporting tool that we use extensively for business intelligence activities. One of the advantages of this application is that users can interactively test assumptions about student numbers, income and expenditure and easily view the financial outcomes. The example we're going to look at in this video is the development of a new three-year BA in International Law, recruiting a projected total of 80 home and 14 overseas students across all three years. When developing the application, we split the model in terms of undergraduate and postgraduate programs which are presented on different tabs. This is largely because the funding and support costs are quite different. You will also notice that tabs 4 and 5 have been developed using containers. This allows us to design the model in a very systematic way and provides a better experience for those users with standard PC screens. In the example we have developed, we will be using the Undergraduate Programs in Containers tab. After selecting the tab, the model defaults to inputting the income for the new program. This is based on projected student recruitment and the numbers are entered using the slider objects. These are broken down by fee status and the year of the program. Using the sliders is a relatively easy way of inputting student numbers into the model and these can be amended throughout the process so that users can assess the impact of changing recruitment on the financial viability of the program. In this example, we project the recruitment of first-year home EU funded students to be around 30. You will notice that the projected student number table below has now changed to reflect the student numbers input using the slider. This is a good check for accuracy, but more importantly, the numbers in the table are used to generate tuition fee income, teaching grant income, if any, as well as student support costs in terms of bursaries. For the second year of the programme, we estimate an enrolment of 26 students. For the final year of the programme, we anticipate a cohort of 24 students, giving us 80 in total across the three years. As you would expect, recruitment of overseas students is likely to be more modest, even though this is an international law programme. In the first year, we anticipate recruiting six students, and this will be indicated in the table below. For the second year of the programme, we estimate four students. For the final year of the programme, we anticipate the four students to continue, giving us 14 in total across the three years. The projected student number table is now complete. The changes in a new funding regime has meant that the teaching grant is no longer available for most programs. As this new program is law related and largely classroom based, select price band D from the drop down menu.
To determine the level of tuition fees, select tuition fee income from the drop down list on the left hand side. This now provides a calculation of tuition fee income based on projected student numbers broken down by fee status. Selecting total tuition fee income from the menu on the left hand side provides a total of home and overseas fees broken down by year. To determine if there is any additional income, select Hefke Teaching Grant from the drop down list on the left hand side. Hefke currently only provides teaching grant to medicine price band A and a small level of grant for laboratory based subjects price band B. So a price band D program like this example will not command teaching grant. For the final income figure, select total income from the drop down list on the left hand side. The level of income for the new program is now calculated, although well, this can easily be altered by changing projected student numbers using the sliders. The second major component of the model is a calculation of expenditure. This is largely based on developing a new program, the number of hours required to deliver and administer the course, the cost of student support in terms of bursaries and scholarships, and institutional overhead such as estate, IT provision, etc. To import cost related data, select expenditure from the choose function menu bordered in red. You will notice that the expenditure function brings up an input box where you can enter the number of hours required to develop the curriculum, deliver the teaching and administer the program. For the purposes of this video, we have pre-populated the input box for the number of hours we might expect for the design of a brand new program. The number of hours is used as a basis for calculating the total academic costs. It's relatively easy to change the number of hours if you think they require amendment. In this case, the number of teaching hours in year one appears too low. We would anticipate that the program will feature five modules taught during the first year with five hours of lectures and seminars per week. On the basis of two 10 week semesters, we should estimate approximately 250 hours teaching time during the academic year. Changing the number of teaching hours to 250 results in a significant change to the total academic cost, adding an additional £9,000. To determine the financial costs of student support, select Support Costs from the drop down list on the left hand side. The costs of student support are calculated from the projected student numbers expected to be recruited as part of the income calculations. Student support includes a range of bursaries and scholarships, as well as agent fees for the enrolment of overseas students. For a summary of academic and support costs, you can select these from the drop down list on the left hand side. As well as academic and support costs, the expenditure model also calculates institutional overheads. This can be determined by selecting the total overheads from the drop down menu on the left hand side. Overheads are calculated on 100% of the total academic and support costs and are used as a contribution to central costs such as the provision of IT services and maintenance of the estate. To view the total expenditure costs for developing this program, select Total Costs from the drop down menu on the left hand side. This now provides the total expenditure based on adding academic, support, and overhead costs and is used throughout the model. Given that we have now calculated the projected income and estimated the level of expenditure required to develop and deliver the new course, we can now look at the results to see if the program is financially viable. 
To do this, select results from the choose function menu. After selecting the function, the view defaults to a bar chart that shows total income compared to total costs for the three years of the program. This chart clearly shows that the income generated by the program, particularly in terms of tuition fees, exceeds expenditure in developing, teaching and administering the course for all three years. For inclusion in the validation documents for the new program, the figures are also available in a table format, which can be easily exported to Microsoft Excel, Word or PowerPoint. To obtain a clearer indication of the profit generated by the program, select the Profit versus Loss option from the drop-down menu. This provides a simple bar chart that in this case indicates a level of profit across all three years. If, for example, you believe that the program could recruit additional students, the slider object can be manipulated and the results are instantly visible. This interactive modelling is one of the key features of this application and means that you can test your assumptions before completing the necessary validation documents. Again, the results of the program costing model are presented in a tabular format for exporting to other mediums. This is the end of the video. Thanks for listening and watching. We hope you found it useful.